The history of A1, the once called steak sauce. The story of A1 sauce begins with its inventor, Henderson William Brand, who served as a personal chef for King George IV in the 1820s. Legend has it that the king tasted the sauce and exclaimed, A number one! Brand, born in Durham, England, began his culinary journey in his father's kitchen and rose through the ranks to become a renowned chef. He eventually established his own shop in London in 1835, introducing Brand's International Sauce at the 1862 International Exhibition, where it earned its rank as A1, which at the time was a way to describe something of superb quality. The ingredients of A1 sauce have remained relatively unchanged over the years, which include orange puree, raisin paste, tomato puree, dry garlic, corn syrup, vinegar, and spices. Up until 2014, A1 sauce was labeled A1 Steak Sauce. So, in 2014, A1 Steak Sauce underwent a rebranding, dropping steak from its name. This change was prompted by the decline in beef consumption and the rising popularity of other protein sources like chicken, pork, and even the rise in the vegetarian lifestyle. A1's parent company aimed to position the sauce as a versatile condiment for various foods. While it originally had broader culinary applications like from their early advertising, saucy sauce, different from any other, appreciated on Welsh rarebits, broiled lobster, and English mutton chops, the sauce became synonymous with steak in the 1960s and quickly became the go-to bottle for your uncle's overcooked steak. However, as meat and cooking quality improved, chefs preferred to let the quality of the meat shine. A1 sauce lost some of its appeal among culinary professionals. Interestingly, despite its British origins, A1 sauce is not nearly as popular as it once was in the UK due to fierce competition from other brown sauce brands like HP and Daddy's. In the US, A1 sauce enthusiasts have found creative uses for the condiment such as a topping for baked potatoes, burgers, eggs, and a dipping sauce for french fries. Some even mix it into meatloaf or add it to beverages like Bloody Marys. So, its 2014 campaign still holds up to this day for almost everything. Almost. Well, there you have it, folks. The gripping tale of A1 steak sauce. Oh, I mean A1 sauce. Let us know in the comments what condiment you want us to dive into next. As always, my friends, keep it saucy, because you're A1 in our book.